Bonjour everyone and welcome to the Franco Trend here once again on Lohev TV. As you already know or if you are new to this channel, my name is Daxi Lobrio and welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Last week I uh, brought to, uh, some news to you and I also give you a brief history about the French language. So today I'm going to continue with that and then bring you some news, some latest information what is happening in the francophone world last week as i mentioned french is a romance language and is widely spoken by over 300 million people across the globe and uh, when it comes to the french language uh, most countries that have french as their official language dates back into colonial periods the focus is on europe today so there are five countries in europe that have french as their official language or one of their official languages so the French first one is France obviously when we talk about French uh, to me personally the French first country that comes to mind is France so France has French as their official language and in the article 2 of their constitution it, it is recognized the second country that has French as their official language or one of their official languages is Belgium. Belgium, in the northern part of Belgium, French is widely spoken. But we continue with another country uh, that has French as one of their languages, uh, is uh, Luxembourg. Luxembourg has three official languages, uh, Luxembourgish, French and the German language. The next country with French as their official language is Monaco. Actually, Monaco is not a city in France is the second smallest country in the world uh, many people get this uh, wrong because they think uh, AS Monaco is one of the teams in that plays in the French league but actually AS Monaco plays in the French league even though it's from Monaco uh, the country but it's just a team representing because the country is so small that they can't have a domestic, domestic league on their own so they speak French as their official language and I just mentioned is the second smallest country in the world our fifth country with French as one of their official languages is Switzerland Switzerland has about 23% of their population uh, who speak French so that's it for today uh, about French and uh, we will continue next week we have five countries in Europe that have French as their official languages. France, Belgium, Monaco, Luxembourg, and Switzerland. Uh, so what's been happening in the French world in the past week? And that's what I'll be bringing to you right now. Uh, our first major story is uh, Togo. So Togo celebrated its 61st independence anniversary and it was on the 27th of april 2021 on the 27th of april 1960 the country's first president Sivanos olympio declared their independence just like any other year religious services and traditional rekindling were carried out for the independence day commemoration president of the republic of togo mr paul nyashinbe commissioned the kekeli efficient thermal power plant which is said to augment Togo's electricity grid by 50%. Uh, for me personally, I believe that's great news for Togo, uh, which is going to help them from importing extra electricity from neighboring country Ghana. So we wish them a belated Independence Day and wish them well in all what they do. And now to our second story, it's a bit political, it's something that has been uh, in the news for uh, some time now. So we're just going to bring it back to you for you to know what is going on in Burkina Faso. So uh, Burkina Faso's ex-president Blaise Compaore is to stand trial for the murder of one of their ex-presidents, Thomas Sankara. So Mr. Blaise Compaore, who is currently the ambassador for La Côte d'Ivoire to Qatar, even though people say it's a leg, but no other person has come out to say they are the ambassador of La Côte d'Ivoire to Qatar. And the Avoran president or the Avoran government have also not come out to show us or to show to the Avoran people who is actually the ambassador of La Côte d'Ivoire to Qatar. 
So many believe that Blessed Compare has been actually appointed as the ambassador of La Côte d'Ivoire to Qatar, which is quite funny from ex-president, now you're president and now <laughs> ambassador for another country, uh, Africa for you, my people. <laughs> So Blessed Compara is to stand trial for the assassination of his predecessor Thomas Sankara in the 1987 coup in which Blessed Compara took power. Thomas Sankara was a military officer and president of Burkina Faso from 1983 to 1987 before he was murdered. So this is a 34 years old murder case of former president that has been reopened. It, it was actually reopened in 2015 when Christian Kabore became president of Burkina Faso. So many Burkinabes are actually happy with this major development because it's been 34 years since uh, the assassination of Thomas Sankara who is known as the father of the revolution in Burkina Faso. This subject was considered as a taboo subject in Burkina Faso and since Christian Cabaret came back, uh, like I said, they reopened it. So let's see what happens and uh, we pray for justice to prevail and we continue praying for Burkina Faso as well as a country. And in the world of sport, PSG failed to win their semi-final home game against Manchester City. They were down by two goals to one against the English Premier League the top team and uh, uh, it's kind of difficult for them right now because uh, as it stands Manchester City has also never won the Champions League PSG is also aiming at the main prize last year they were at the finals and they are hoping to get to the finals and hopefully win it this year for me personally I'm actually uh, supporting PSG in this year's Champions League and uh, even though I'm a Real Madrid fan, I, I wish they win it because like I said in one of our previous videos, it's been uh, about 28 years now since a French team won the Champions League and Olympique de Marseille is the only French team that has won the Champions League. So I actually want PSG to win it this season so uh, they can break that record for themselves. And especially uh, as it stands, uh, we, don't, we don't know yet, this Champions League uh, might be the last competitive Champions League because uh, with the introduction of the Super League, uh, we don't know if uh, some of those big teams are going to uh, create their own league as they claim or they want to. So anyone who wins this Champions League uh, is uh, truly a champion to my point of view because uh, if other teams are going to create their own league, uh, it's going to be as if the Champions League wouldn't be competitive as we expect it to be because if Real Madrid and all the other big teams are leaving the Champions League to have their own competition aside, it's going to be something different. So uh, personally, I'm praying for PSG to win their away match against Manchester City, which is going to be difficult. And nothing is impossible though. It's going to be hard for them because Pep Guardiola has never won the Champions League since he left Barcelona. He tried at Bayern Munich. He's not trying at uh, Manchester City, which is an English team. PSG is also uh, second on the table when it comes to their domestic league in the French league, actually. They are one point behind Lille. And uh, it's, I think they are, it's left with about four games for them to play. So let's see uh, what happens. But I'm actually supporting them at Etihad, and I pray that uh, they, they win, even if it's one goal to nil. They are gone. Thanks for watching, and this has been Franco Trends with you from me, Dagzi Lobrio, here on the Live TV. If you haven't subscribed yet, can you subscribe and Thanks for all those who have subscribed and keep watching my videos and keep sharing with friends and family.